Hey guys, football is back and for the majority of teams today is going to be their first game of the season. Obviously Bournemouth and West Brom played in the season opener for the Championship yesterday but today, Saturday, is going to be most of the Championship League 1 and League 2 teams first game of the season. Now we've got tickets today to go see Scunthorpe versus Swindon Town in League 2 at Scunthorpe as well at Glanford Park. Um, we're going to be sat in the Britcon stand, which is apparently the most vocal and the, the uh, stand with the most atmosphere. So it should be a good game. Um, in terms of pre-season form, Scunthorpe have won uh, three out of five of their pre-season games, which isn't bad when, when you think about it. And Swindon, on the other hand, have only won one out of four. So on pre-season form, you can't read too much into pre-season, but Scunthorpe are the favourites braced off pre-season. But obviously, Swindon this year coming down a league as they got relegated from League One last year. And Scunthorpe only just avoided relegation into um, the non-league. So, you know, neither team's had a fantastic season last season. Hopefully, we get some goals today. Um, like I say, I'm going to be going there. It's kick-off at 3 o'clock. Um, it's currently 11, so I've got to give myself time to get down there and stuff. Um, but we're also going to be adding a charity aspect to the game today. I want to start doing this um, to the games that I go to. So basically what I've done is I've picked a charity um, that's related to uh, Scunthorpe uh, Football Club. It's a Scunthorpe United Community um, Trust or something along those lines. Basically they just help out in the community, give opportunities to uh, less fortunate people to play football, give them an opportunity in sport etc. And what we're going to be doing is based on how their team performs and how the game goes, we're going to be donating some money to charity. So the way that the charity process is going to work is I'm going to just give £10 off the bat, regardless of what happens, uh, to the charity. And then for each goal that's scored in the game by either team, it's going to add an extra £2 onto the tally. And then also if Scunthorpe win, obviously they're the team we're going to watch. We're going to be sitting in their end with their fans. So if Scunthorpe win, we'll add another £10 on. So regardless, if Scunthorpe win 1-0, you're looking at a £22 donation. Obviously, if there's more goals in the game, it's going to uh, add up. So minimum £10 donation upwards from there. So I think that's a, a nice thing that I want to do to you know give back to the charities. And we're going to be doing that for every game we go to. For example, I'm going to a Liverpool game tomorrow against uh, Athletic uh, Bilbao, pre-season game. We're going to be giving some money away to charity tomorrow, probably for the Hillsborough, um, Justice for the 96 Foundation or something like that. So yeah, um, basically it's only 11 o'clock now, so got a couple of hours still, but um, yeah, I'll uh, see you when we're leaving to go to the game. Alright guys, so we're in the Glanford Park Stadium now, um, about 40 minutes till kick off, the Scumpot keep training just here, the Swindon uh, keepers have come out as well. So um, yeah, pretty much just a countdown to kick off now, wait for the game to start and um, as you see, it's a pretty nice stadium. Um, we'll come back to you at kick-off I guess. Right, so you all know at half time, um, it's been a good game, fairly equal, um, no, not a lot of chances for both teams, but they've run out of pie, they've run out of all hot food, so um, I'm stuck with the canary bows, which is not, not great really, uh, poor planning and some sport, but yeah, second half will come soon.
Right guys, so that is the end of the game. Um, he finished 3-1 Swindon in the end. Um, although Scunthorpe did go 1-0 up with an early, well not early, early in the second half penalty. Um, it was a good game to be fair. The fans in the uh, Scunthorpe end were very, very vocal. So you can't complain against that. It was good um, to be back in the stadium. Good to see so many fans back in the stadium enjoying themselves. And um, like I say, the Swindon fans were good as well. Obviously travelled up um, from Swindon. And uh, yeah, it was a, a good game. It was a good game to watch. Obviously four goals, can't complain. The weather was good. It has just started to rain now a little bit, but um, like I say, the game's over now, so that doesn't really matter. And um, shame that Scunthorpe didn't get the win, like I say, because we were sat with their fans. Um, well, I was sat with their fans, so that, that would have been nice. But yeah, I can't complain. F four goals is decent. Um, and because of those four goals, um, it means we're going to be donating a little bit more money to charity. Like I said at the start of the video, we're going to be donating uh, some money to the Scunthorpe United Community Trust um, because they're a, quite a good charity linked with um, Scunthorpe United. And like I say, we've got a £10 default donation that I would be donating regardless of the result. And then because of the four goals scored today, they each add £2 to the total, which takes the total to £18 that's going to be donated. So nobody can argue with charity. Um, like I say, it's all for a good cause. Um, I've had a good day out as well. And tomorrow should be even better because we're going to Anfield. We're going to watch Liverpool versus Athletic Bilbao uh, in the final pre-season friendly um, that Liverpool are playing. Oh, second uh, last pre-season friendly. Um, before the start of the season which will be good for me as well because I'm a Liverpool fan so yeah can't complain really good day out um, only negative was that they run out of food um, run out of hot, hot food I left um, I don't know if you could hear it at the half time uh, break because there were so many loud speakers and stuff playing it was quite hard to pick my voice up when I was in the stadium so that's why there's uh, a lack of commentary from me really throughout the game because it was just so loud in there um, you know, my camera and, and my uh, microphone weren't really picking anything up. But, um, yeah, they ran out of food. I went down uh, two minutes before half-time early to get try and get some food. Um, and they'd run out of hot food already. So, um, yeah, that's a bit of poor planning from uh, Scunthorpe, if you ask me. But, you know, it's only a minor uh, issue. So, yeah, apart from that, a good day out. And um, I'll see you all tomorrow for the uh, Liverpool-Bilbao game.